what's up everyone i'm matt with ozark overland adventures and if you've been watching the intro and can see out the window um, we are definitely not in the ozarks in fact i oh there's a deer um in fact i am in new mexico northern new mexico to be exact uh currently driving through cimarron state park and i am trying to get to camp in Red River, New Mexico before dark, but I don't think that's gonna happen. But I am solo right now, but James and his son are gonna be meeting me at camp, and we have got, I think, what's gonna be a whole lot of fun ahead of us. So we're camping up near Greeny Peak tonight in Red River. Tomorrow, we are heading into uh, the San Juan, the San Juan Mountains in Colorado, where we will run a couple trails, find camp there in the mountains, and then the next day head into Moab. And our goal in Moab is to run, uh, obviously, trails, but also to find some, some great campsites, camp at different locations each night, that sort of thing. So thank you for joining me on this journey. And I can't wait to get to camp because I haven't eaten dinner yet and I'm just ready to get there. It's gonna be, it has been stupid hot in Arkansas. I mean, it's the summertime, but yeah, it's been stupid hot in Arkansas. And tonight the low is 43 degrees. So I cannot wait to feel that cold air and sleep all bundled up in my tent and it's gonna be fantastic. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to camp as soon as possible. Well, I made it to camp. It took a lot longer to get here than, uh, than what I remembered this trail being like. But I am right on top of Greeny Peak, and if I could see down past the trees, it's an amazing view. But what I can see is a whole bunch of stars. So I'm gonna do some star photography here in a little bit after I make a sandwich and eat dinner. I don't know that James is gonna make it. I may have to meet him in town in the morning. He may stop and, I don't know, grab a hotel or something. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna have a super nice night here up on Greeny Peak. I love it up here. This is my first time to camp up on Greeny Peak. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. I am meeting James in town at eight o'clock. So I'm gonna start getting kind of packed up. I'm gonna take some more photos real quick and then do a little exploring as I head down the mountain. Well, I very much enjoyed having Greeny Peak all to myself last night. The thing that stuck out to me was how quiet it was. If you saw my recent solo trip to the Ozarks, I mean, the, the cicadas, the crickets, all the frogs were so loud. I mean, just so loud. So loud that you sometimes couldn't hear my voice on the camera. But up here, it was just quiet. Maybe a few 
chirpings in the distance, but very still. There was very little, maybe a very light breeze, but, but almost no wind. But it was just so quiet. It was, it, it, it was cool. I very much liked it. Fancy meeting you here. Good morning. All right, well, I got James and Caleb. You can see them behind me, but next stop is Lake City, Colorado, where we will jump on Engineer Pass and take that into the Ure area to run Poughkeepsie Gulch this afternoon. So that's our plan for the rest of the day and then find a campsite somewhere in that area. But uh, we're gonna just enjoy this drive between here and Lake City, and it's gonna be gorgeous. We're officially on Engineer Pass, and I have forgotten how gorgeous the beginning of this is. Traveling through this little canyon ravine thing with the stream right there. I love it. It's amazing. This is called Whit Whitmore Falls, I think. I think Whitmore Falls. This is unbelievable. I kind of regret not bringing my, my camera down here. But I've got pictures from last time. I'm loving the fact that this worked out for him to bring Caleb. And Caleb is loving it. It's pretty cool.
many times I see this, it never gets old. It's just so beautiful. Well, we have made it off Engineer Pass and we are officially on Pizza Gulch. And I'm so excited. I love this trail. Let's see. No? Yes. Definitely. Let's go. This is the wall.
Well, I'll take the soft shackle of shame on this one. It's just too wet. There was good potential to do this line, but there's no traction. We'll, we'll see how James does. Now come straight. Just hold that. All right, now cut back driver. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Uh, you're firmly turtled. All right, back up. You need to come more passenger. I want to get your passenger tire up on this rock. Nope, stay passenger. Right there. Alright, now cut back hard. Hard, 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 hard. Go, 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 go. Yeah, there we go. Well done, sir. Thanks, sir. Well done. Fun times. Fun times. You did have a better spotter than I did. Right. <laughs> We're gonna say it's the line. It was totally the line. But once you're done with the wall. It's kind of a choose your own adventure out of here. There's multiple well, um, lines. I guess the uh, the Heracon is more capable than the uh, the Rubicon, right? Well, in uh, JL trim with the wheelbase. That's meaning John. Obviously, he didn't really have a fighting chance since he broke his Eugene. That is true. I don't know where I'm going. beautiful well we flew over hurricane pass now we're flying over corkscrew gulch making really good time Goal is something down there in the trees. Yeah, I think I'll make a three point turn. We found camp and I think this will do very nicely. Got great views of the Red Mountains, lots of trees. I'm gonna pop my tent right there. Yeah, I like this. Well, we managed to get a fire going, even though a lot of the wood is wet. So yay for that. Now we just need to get some charcoals going for dinner. Let's see. James and Caleb have their hammocks set up. I've got my rooftop tent set up. All right, James, what's for dinner? I've got some stuffed pork chops, 
and asparagus. Um, got stuff with sausage and some pork chop stuff with crab meat. Oh, going fancy. It'd be interesting. Nice. We'll see what it's like. Searing them up and then we're gonna put them on the hot coals and cook them Dutch oven style. That look yummy. What's the budget? Oh, uh, right at 140. That's what I like it. Yeah, these are pretty much done. Ooh, it looks so good. That's not how I expected this sausage one to be. <clears throat> How'd you expect it to be? I, I don't know, some ground sausage stuffed in there? Yeah. Not. It's like a. Like a. It's Pol like a Polish sausage. Yeah. Isn't it? It's good. I'm excited for the crab. I don't have a clue what the temperature is because I don't have any cell signal, but it's cold enough that ice has formed on my rain fly. So it's quite chilly. But the agenda for today is pack up camp. James and Caleb are currently working on their hammocks. And then we're going to head to Moab where we're going to go straight to top of the world and check that out check out those amazing views i've been there before a couple of times but james and caleb had never been so it's going to be awesome for them and it'll be the first time the gladiator's been there so that's the plan for today life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Officially off the trail, aired back up, and now heading into Ure to get some much needed gas. James has been on E for, for quite a while now. And so, worst case scenario, it's all that hill he can coast in. And then we're off to top of the world. It's gonna be a good day. Why is it that road trips always make you just wanna eat? I've been going back and forth between Bucky's Ranch crackers, which are ranch and saltines, which are really good, and dark chocolate covered cashews, also from Bucky's. It's a really good combination. The sweet, the salty, it's a winner. Thank you, James, for stopping in Bucky's for me on your way up here. That was very nice. Oh, and beef jerky too. Ranch crackers, dark chocolate, cashews, beef jerky. Bye-bye, Colorado. 
Hello, Utah. This is why I really don't like top of the world. I mean, the view at the end is incredible and, and worth it. But so much of this trail is just this rough, awful terrain that's not fun. Um, but like I said, the, the view at the end is, is worth it. starts to get a little fun. Little bump. There you go.
got off it. Got it. Well done. Like I'm, I'm gonna stop it. If it go, if it goes too far, I'll stop. Yeah, I appreciate that. Come on, you got, you got a little bit more. Yeah. All right, there you go. Go straighten up. The view out the passenger window is quite terrifying because it looks like there's just nothing there. Well, this is the iconic shot from top of the world. This is what you drive all the way for. And it is one heck of a view. Oh. Three hundred and sixty degrees. I didn't recognize it, so I walked over here. Yeah, that's the that's the spot. Top of the world is definitely one of the must do trails in Moab at least once just just to get the view because the view is is worth it I don't know if it's worth coming here three times because this is my third time but it's definitely worth coming here the first time but now we go back down and there's a loop up here and so as you make the loop it, you can go both ways but the way we're going down is more technical than the way we came up so it'll be fun Okay. 
That doesn't look good. We're officially done with Top of the World. Next stop is Moab for some gas. Then we're gonna go try to find an epic campsite. That's the plan anyway. We are currently taking a little spur that on the map says it goes down to the river. I wanna check it out. is an actual ford on the Colorado River. 
the Colorado River. I actually don't think it's Colorado River. It's a different river. I'm not sure which river. But it runs into the Colorado River and we just did a water crossing. That's pretty darn cool. Okay, that's the Dolores River. It's a very gorgeous thing here. drive into Moab from the Dewey Bridge is spectacular. Following the Colorado River, massive bluffs on both sides. It's awesome. All right, we are headed to camp. We are actually going to meet up with some friends of ours that have the YouTube channel Prodigal Overland. Um, our friends Brad and Lauren uh, we have wheeled with them before back in the winter time they own a grand cherokee trail hawk and they are not afraid to beat the ever-living crap out of that thing um, i know they have done top of the world in their grand cherokee they've done poison spider out here hell's revenge um, of course my wife does hell's revenge in hers but uh anyway check out their channel because if you want to see some crazy stuff happening with in a grand cherokee trail hawk they'll do it so fantastic people but they're here in town and they invited us to come to their camp and have burgers with them and anyway so that's what we're doing their camp is about 25 ish miles north of town um, don't know if it's epic or if it's just a flat spot off the road so but whatever we're gonna hang out with good friends and we're going to camp It'd be a really good camp spot for a lot of people it's a huge camp spot mm -hmm. that's for sure well, we are at camp. It is basically just a great big flat spot off the highway. You can actually see the interstate I-70 right there. So, you know, it's not epic, but it's got room for a whole bunch of people. And Brad and his family um, live out of that fifth wheel. And then they've got some friends here in this RV. So it's a good spot for them. And we've enjoyed hanging out and having dinner with them. And I think we're going to have a campfire. It's going to be very nice not have to worry about freezing tonight as opposed to last night. Um, so I think we're very much going to enjoy it. Caleb has his hammock strung up between our vehicles and James is sleeping in a gazelle tent on the other side. So it's going to be good. We're just going to hang out for a little bit and have some fun. Today we've got an amazing day planned. As you can see, we're at the Poison Spider Trailhead in Moab, Utah. But I have run Poison Spider before. I'm excited to do it in the Gladiator to see how it does. But I've never run Golden Spike in Gold Bar Realm. So that's going to be way cool. We've got the obstacle called Golden Crack that's somewhere in the middle of the trail. Crazy excited about that. And we're going to have a blast. Definitely gonna have to trim the bumper. See if any tire gets lifted. Nope, I don't think so. If you'll notice Mike's fenders 
I'm pretty sure I cut those. Nicely done. Did I cut your fenders? Yeah. I thought I did. They look familiar. I did not know if I was going to make it up that with the breakover angle, but that was no problem. Definitely had some issues with the departure angle though, but uh, climbed right up. Not bad at all. Drain it out. There you go. Oh, you're three wheeling it there. You got it. There you go. Yeah, very nice. Easy. We are officially at the waterfall, which is really not that bad. Still not locked. Dang. Yeah, come hit it at a different angle. There you go. Now turn into it. There you go. <laughs> All right. This is a fun one.
All right, straighten out. There you go. Very good. Perfect. All right, we're at the wedge, which is a interesting obstacle, not too bad. James is taking the low approach. Turn back driver just a little bit. There you go. Just come straight. Little driver. I'm straight. Perfect. There you go. Little driver. Little drive right there. Perfect. That's it. Little passenger. Right there. Straighten up. Come right, driver. Right there. Go straight. Perfect. Whee. Well, all the major obstacles on Poison Spider are over. And now it's just driving on this very bumpy mesa to get to the rest of the fun stuff but it's pretty up here we are at the high speed mesa oh uh, this will be fun
see if I hang up on my bumper on launching pad. It's gladiator, it's a possibility. Oh, that looks steep. Thirty-one degrees. Thirty-four, thirty-five. There we go. Whew, that was fun. Oh, that was intense. Thirty-five degrees. All right, that was fun. That was a little scary. That was fun. This is Golden Spike? Yeah. I've been on this one before. Oh, have you? Yeah. You've done that one? I just didn't realize that. Okay. That was pretty awesome. Okay, what you think? <laughs> <laughs> that was like... Uh, you know, very uh, well that, named. That, I yeah. mean, it was launching pad. I mean, that's yeah. pretty cool. I got up to like 36, I think, as well. Yeah, that was awesome. Let's see. Skyline Drive. All right. This is cool. It is quite anchored. All right, Golden Spike may be my new favorite chair. I really like this. Yeah, this is really neat. Especially being there. And uh, it's got a rough rock. You can see. And...
There's a bypass up there, but that's no fun. The hell's gonna get deeper than you think. There it goes. The hard passenger. Hard passenger. Stay hard passenger. All right, now cut back. There you go. With your tires wet, you'll probably have to bump that. Passenger, just a little bit. Oh, there we go. Now, driver, hard driver. There we go. My driver, 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 driver. Driver. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Very well done. This would be an awesome waterfall, waterfall. to see coming down. And then I wouldn't want to be driving the canyon when it was raining but god it'd be neat to see we've made it to the overlook I think we're about two thirds the way on the trail. Nice view of Moab down there. Wow. Hell's Revenge Trail is there. Bins and Things is over there. National Park is there. So 
someone's motorcycle or side by side is very loud. You did great, just loud. The amount of variety on this trail really makes it a lot of fun. I very much love Golden Spike. Maybe it's definitely up there in my favorites. I like it. You always got to remember to look around because that's the view out the driver's side window. That's pretty incredible. Looking good. Our tires going up. There you go. There you go. Straighten out just a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Very good. Oh, what a view. I realize you're probably getting tired of me saying this, but the landscape here is just unreal. God, it's incredible.
We have made it to the famous Golden Crack. This actually looks a lot worse in video. This doesn't look too bad. This doesn't look too bad. This, this, I expected this to be worse. Deeper? Yeah. trail is so much fun. It's long. It's a, it's a long day, but it is a lot of fun and gorgeous. Too bad. Not too bad. go.
go back down. We got a little too far over. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Turn driver. As you come up. There you go. Stay driver. Stay driver. There you go. There you go. Whew. Hug that rock on your driver. Now, turn driver. Oh. Uh huh. Uh, you're on your diff. There you go. You go straight up. Little driver. Little driver. Little driver. Little driver. There you go. All right, straighten up. All right, perfect. That'll work. Yep. We did it. We made it off. That was a whole lot of fun. Maybe my favorite trail. Mike is going back to his camp where his wife is. And it's only four o'clock. It took us seven hours to run that trail. Everybody said playing on eight. So we did good and had a blast. But uh, I know James and Caleb have a hotel room for the next two nights because Caleb is still in high school and has some schoolwork he's got to get done. So he needs uh, a place to do that so they get in a hotel room um we're gonna go explore for a little bit and i'm gonna try to find a great campsite for the night and just see what i can find may find nothing i may find something amazing so we will see currently exploring this little dead end trail it has potentially ended a bluff line with possibly a camp there. That's what I'm hoping for. Pull in right there. Well, I think I found the epic campsite for tonight. This bluff's here. And then there's that. Not a bad view to cook dinner, go to bed, just hang out. It's going to be a good night. I'll show you around camp. Got this amazing bluff line here. Due east of us is Moab. That's the LaSalle Mountains in the distance. See all the slick rock fins over there. I think that's about where Pritchett Canyon is. Um, right over there, right there. Um, heavy rains that is actually a waterfall you can see a puddle of water still down there that would be one amazing waterfall and then this flows down here takes a hard left and flows into the colorado river and the gladiator has performed performed amazing today 
Super happy with it. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder.
Well, good morning. I'm a little sad about leaving this campsite. It was amazing last night. Probably my favorite campsite like in the history of ever. Okay, Porcupine Rim maybe, maybe still better, but pretty darn close. But I am heading to meet up with James at the Metal Masher Trailhead. We're gonna run Metal Masher this morning and then I don't know, maybe go into town to grab some lunch. And then we're gonna go look for dinosaur artifacts this afternoon. So it'll be very different and a whole lot of fun. I'm anxious to get out and go exploring of to new places this afternoon. So it should be a whole lot of fun. Thanks for joining along on today's adventure. We'll see what happens. We are off. I realize I say this on just about every trail, but the scenery is amazing out here. I mean, every trail is just a little bit different. Metal Master looks a little bit different than Poison Spider and Golden Spike did. Just a little bit different area. I didn't scrape near as bad as I thought I would with that breakover angle. The fun thing about Metal Masher is there's a lot of options for lines. So I chose to take that one because of my breakover and departure angle. But James is going to try this one over here. I'll try to get him to try this one, but he said no. Now turn driver. Oh yeah, you got this. No problem. There you go, you're climbing. Turn passenger. There you go. Turn passenger. Come passenger. Come passenger. See if you can get some grip on those 37s to climb. Oh, oh, maybe. Oh, dang. Nope, slipped out. It's all about the line. Let's see what happens. Oh, now he's on a spare. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, James. You are firmly planted on your spare. I don't know if you can back up. Whoop. Hold on. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, you're not backing up. Oh. Yep. There's no backing. No, there's no backing. Yeah. yeah, Sully, Sully will be glad to give you an anchor point. It happens. <laughs> 
All I needed was just to get over the lip. After that recovery, James and I were just talking. His recovery gear was not in an ideal location. Um, and we were just talking about the importance of having your recovery gear in a place that is super easy to get to. Because for him, his was in the back. And of course he was pinned on his back end. He couldn't open his tailgate. So he had to climb in and dig around the, over the back seat to try to get his recovery gear. So, and because of that um, type of situation, I put mine on the side of the Jeep in that nice little bag that sits on the, the bed rack. Um, and if I need anything major, then it's in my totes, but all my, my key stuff is back there. Um, Cause I know there's gonna be situations where I can't get to my totes very easily. So make sure your recovery gear is easy to get to. There's your, there's your little, your little free tip for the day. Here's another optional line for you, James. You might be able to make that. Perfect. All right, little driver, right there. A little more, there you go. There you go, a little more driver, right there. All right, you're lined up good. Let's see. I mean, you're just on your belly. Come on. Turn back, driver. Oh, keep going. Now back, passenger. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it. Like I said, that's that's buggy line. But you gotta get out and look at this. I mean. Yeah, no, uh, no JL or JT on 37s is gonna make this. I'm up here. I've seen, I've seen multiple lines. I've seen this way and I've also seen this way. Um, but this looks the most, yeah, that's right. yeah, but then you get up here and you're off camber uh, and it looks really, really wonky. Goodness. I mean, this is, this is big. Do Jeeps even do this? Uh, buggy Jeeps, <laughs> maybe some on well-built ones with tons and 42s.
There you go. Come a little driver too. Right there. Go. That was not a bump. That's good. Whoa, you wait. You're good. A bump, not not launch it. Go. All right, we're going to have to practice your bumping skills. All right, right there, bump it. Go. Bump. Go. There we go. Stay straight. Stay straight. There you go. Straighten up, right there. That sounded fun. Here's the lookout on Metal Masher. So many spectacular views around here. There's Archer's National Park all through there. You can just make out a little arch in the distance. What you doing, Caleb?
can hurt us anymore. We're free of what we lost. Not anything or anyone will hold us back, no matter what the cost. In front of us is the famous Goonie Bird Rock. If you're ever in Moab and want a good burger, Milt's is the place to go. This place is pretty awesome. Hmm. I think that right there. Hello. Hello. I want the Blue Moon Bacon Cheeseburger. Um, and uh, oh gosh, does that come with fries? No, uh, fries. Let me have a chocolate milkshake, extra chocolate. Mm. Well, we're off to explore and find dinosaur tracks and artifacts and stuff. I'm following James now after a delicious burger at Milts and gas and you know all the needed restocking things and now we're just gonna go explore see what we can find should be a whole lot of fun I like doing this stuff all right we are on Willow Springs Road we're gonna see what we can find besides a lot of dust and a lot of very open barren campsites I, I would not want to stay out here like that's that does not look fun there are better places to stay Clonzo trailhead are we hiking today you didn't mention anything about hiking no there are no hikes I'm trying to get the uh, coordinates right now See, the Nat Geo layer comes in real handy because it says right there, dinosaur tracks. We just got a little bit farther to go. We found them. The Willow Springs dinosaur tracks. But, but where? Oh, oh, there, there we go. It's pretty desolate out here. I can see why dinosaurs died here. Or at least left tracks that stayed here forever. I mean, it's uh, desolate. No. -uh. Yeah, said he saw toads in it. Are they just scattered along this pathway? Uh huh. Oh. Okay. Go like this. Look, look. Right here. Look, look. look. What? Oh, yeah. Huh. So those are sauropod tracks. Okay. So it'd be like brachiosaurus. There we go. Stepping where dinosaurs have stepped. Okay, their stride's a little longer than mine. Yeah. And there's there's another one. See the yep, toes? Got... Huh. Interesting. Theropod track. And sauropod tracks. All right, we've seen That's pretty cool. we've seen dinosaur tracks. Now, where can we find Bigfoot tracks? Oh, that's what we need. Gotta go back home for that. Bigfoot tracks. Sasquatch. Well, on this road that we are on on our quest for dinosaur tracks we have ended up in Arches National Park interesting
I don't see any arches. All I see are big mounds. And this is not Big Mounds National Park. It's Arches National Park. So we need arches. For the record, those are not arches. Maybe someday they will be. They're not now. Nope, not an arch. It is a pretty legit four-wheel drive trail though that I'm currently doing in two-wheel drive. It's a whole lot greener through here than I expected. This is not what I expected. At all. Looks like a pretty cool drive though. Yeah, it was a very nice drive. Wish I could fly my drone. Hey, so tell me, how was uh, Mickey's hot tub compared to stuff that we've already done? Could I have done that, you think? Oh yeah, you could have done Mickey's, no problem. It's just tricky. But, I mean, John made it. Found kind of an arch. Not well. Yeah. I think it's an arch. It's kind of an arch. You can't really tell because you can't see light through it, but there's there's an arch right there. It's kind of lame. Well, I'm marking this. We're going to turn around now. Finish recording. Name of this track. Trail to Dinosaur Tracks and Lame, Lame Arch. Done. There we go. Trail to dinosaur tracks and lay march. Okay, I, one of these days, uh, this trail like goes on and on. I don't know if it dead ends there or not. Um, it'd be really odd if it did. But I think it, it looks like it does. So, but then you got all this over here. This will be like a whole day. Not today though. Whee! We are now at the Copper Ridge Jeep Trail area, and there are dinosaur tracks here, apparently. So we're gonna go check those out and see what this Copper Ridge Jeep Trail thing is like, maybe. All right, we made it to the Copper Ridge Dinosaur Track site. And that's a cool looking dinosaur. Luckily, this is not far of a hike. Let's see what we got. Wide right turns. Big old sauropod tracks. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a big one. That's a lot bigger than those other ones. Huh. Like I say, these are really close together. Oh yeah, see, this one's really clear. You got the toes. Huh. Are we sure these are dinosaur tracks? Are we sure? A limping theropod. Okay, they're saying that, that these tracks are left behind by a limping one. So, oh, Daddy, this is what I meant by clear. They can. So, so, so. That's pretty clear. How do they know it's limping? How do they know? 
Okay, we found three distinct tracks here for this one that was supposedly a limping. There, and then there, and then really far up here, there's another one. It's pretty cool. Now walk to the next one. Big step. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> well, just for fun, we're going to run the little short south side of fence and things. But Caleb is driving James's Jeep. James wanted to give him a, some seat time behind the wheel of a trail like this and thought it'd be fun. And there's one obstacle on here I want to test with the Gladiator and see just how bad that departure angle is. I mean, I already know how bad it is, but I just want to see it on this obstacle. I think it'll be funny. I have a feeling I may just have all, both rear tires suspended in the air. We'll see. Slowly, coming off. There you go. Bike tires coming down. Good job. All right, slow down. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Go slow, the back tires are about to come down. Slow right now, slowly. There you go. Good job. There you go, just come on down. Good job! How was that? I think this is my first breath. <laughs> <laughs> Straighten up, turn faster. Turn right there. Hold that. There you go. Hold on up. Okay, go a little driver. There you go, 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 there you go. Turn a little passenger. There you go. Back up just a touch. 
a little bit more a little bit more all right right there give it a nice nice good throttle oh you had it if you hadn't let off you had it all right go back down just a little bit more All right, do what you did last time, but don't let off. There you go. Well, today was a whole lot of fun. I am at camp. I'm actually doing something that I've never done before. I actually paid for a campsite. At a recreation area, I'm in the Sand Flats recreation area. I'm just, uh, just right near Moab. We are leaving town at 7 a.m. and hitting the road to head home. So wanted to stay someplace close and super easy. And plus I had Mexican tonight and there's a bathroom nearby. So might be a plus. Um, but that's the that, that's why I'm here. Um, it, it's not bad. I'm tucked away with the bluff lines over here that you can't see. Um, got trees right here in front of me. So and trees all around. So I'm actually kind of private. Um, can't really see anybody else. So, I mean, not bad. I mean, and 15 bucks, cheaper than a hotel. But anyway, uh, had a blast today. Props to Caleb. He uh, drove fins and things like a champ. Um, so super proud of him. And I think, unfortunately, that is it for this adventure that we have had. Time to head home. So if you would like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload all that great stuff. And uh, consider supporting us on patreon if you would um this trip was fantastic would have been better if my wife was here and that's our dream to both of us to be able to do this and travel full time um, so anyway consider supporting us there that's it um, i will definitely see you on the next adventure and i'm gonna go to bed now bye